you look good, Grandad. Yeah. You got your color back and that twinkle in your eye. Mm -hmm. Tell the doctor. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> you going a little it's a break crazy? free. Okay, yeah, yeah. As much as I appreciate you visiting me, and I had to eat too. I want to go home. I want to be in my own bed. I want to see Donna. I want to go back to this, this life I have. You will. Try to no, by his side. Me. There's no place I'd rather be than right here in this room by your side. As long as Luna is by yours. <laughs> he sure loves Luna, don't he? she? Found her way into his heart. Luna, are you here? To her and the leather. Hello, Bill. I miss you. <laughs> now, how is that even possible? We've only had one date. That's the problem. We, we need to rectify that. It's only one. You available tonight? Well, actually, I'm hoping to spend some time with Luna. I can certainly understand why. She is just a beautiful, accomplished young woman. Any parent would be proud. How about tomorrow? You could uh, do El Giardino again. Use a male that you couldn't decide on last time. I'd like that. Then it's a date. I'll see you tomorrow, Bill. Oh, we heard it. What are you doing here, Penelope? Oh, she's, she's in the ring now. Hey, Dad. There you are. What? What? Uh, everything okay? What is uh, he yeah. doing? Yeah, no, I just, I, I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. Here I am. What's going on? He said he was leaving the show. I don't know. I, uh, I kind of feel like I need a change. Maybe move out of here. Maybe, maybe even LA. Oh, this must be his way of announcing. Like it or not, this is where my daughter works. I was looking for Luna. Such a convenient excuse, isn't it? And no, and no. I don't like it. None of it. I especially object to Luna's involvement with RJ, who just happens to be Steffi's brother. Fine. Well, I'm not happy about it. I like having my sons close. But if it's something you feel you need to do for yourself, then who am I to stand in your way? Look, extremely generous for letting me live here when Taylor moved out and everything. You're ridiculous. I'm just, I'm just glad it worked out for you. Thanks, thanks. I mean, there's a lot of good memories here. Couldn't be a, couldn't have been a better place to go home. And just so you know, I did, I, I found a renter, you know, while you're trying to figure out what you want to do with the place. And I, I think it's, I think they're, they're a good candidate. I think you'll, you'll approve. Thank all right, day, I bet. Cindy, and that of our, our real estate team. Yeah. Don't have to worry about leasing it out. But enough about me and my evolving situation. What about you? Liam tells me about this new woman in your life. Ah, yes. The beautiful, mysterious Poppy. Luna came here to start the career she's wanted ever since she was a little girl. She set her eyes on RJ the second she walked in that door. Why? I guess their old saying has merit. Like mother, like daughter. Are you done? Huh? Actually, no. Oh, well, Leah has to say about it. Come in. It was obvious you were talking to a man. I even knew before I heard you call him Bill. He has no Another reason to be there. Anyway, she don't have any family working there. Oh. Woman in your life. Well, I, I wouldn't say that she is in my life quite yet, but I am working on it. Oh, look at you all setting, setting up another date. Wow. I mean, Liam said that you guys met in what, in the Bay Area? Some Golden Gate Music Fest. I'm sorry, what? The universe is just tilted a little bit. Wait, what were you doing at a music oh, yeah, festival? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 hey, stop. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that <laughs> at all. I love music. You know that. I just can't picture Bill Spencer uh, slumming it for three days in a tent <laughs> while okay. eating mystery meat. Yeah. Yeah. Number yeah. one, I had a set up like a Bedouin king. But look, but that's beside the point. Do you want to hear about Poppy? Or yes, please share. <laughs> I was walking back to the camp and uh, something caught my eye. And it was just this magnificent creature. And she was dancing in a way that I, I had never seen. She was just so and free totally and uninhibited. But when the music stopped, she locked in on, on me. 
It was powerful, magnetic, and it just led to this incredible evening together. It sounds like this poppy made quite the impression on you. She did. As the saying goes, right, we made beautiful music together. In fact, I, I think you could say that we created magic.